So let's ho head over to Visual Studio so that we can kind of take a look at uh, what this control has to offer. So you'll see I have my application already set up. I have the color picker component on the form and there's a couple of properties on it. Let's just run it so we can see what it looks like by default. Okay, when this application comes up, all I have is my color picker. Uh, there's going to be a drop down component. And when you click on that, you'll see the current color that's selected. Uh, you'll also see the current color palette. Uh, you can specify this. And based on this color palette, you'll see that it derives some colors based on it. So it's just going to apply uh, different shades of that uh, color palette. So you'll see it takes this and uh, does some variations of it. Also, as you begin to select different colors, this recent color palette is going to start filling out. So if I were to select this orange, go back to it, you'll see it gets filled out. If I do the green, and then it gets added down here. There's also this advanced button. Here you can do a lot more. You can actually specify specific RGB values. When I click advanced, you'll see it come up, uh, where you can type in whatever colors that you needed uh, for each RGB. You'll, you can also see that you can specify the alpha. Uh, in addition to that, you'll see this uh, gradient that you can change different, maybe you need some sort of blue. And when you get into the blue, you can pick a specific type of blue. So there's a lot more you can do. And there's also, also other uh, settings you can play with, the hue, saturation, lightness. And also if you want to do it through cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. So let's go back to the Visual Studio and see what options you have. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. There really isn't anything too crazy. It's all mostly uh, show properties. So what I mean by that, let's go over to the properties window. Uh, you'll see the show advanced editor button, show derived color palettes, and show recent colors palette. So you can show or hide as many of these as you want. By default, you saw they were all checked to be true. And when I'm checking them false, you'll see it's actually setting the property on the uh, control. So when I run this again, it's going to be a much different control. Instead of all the different options that you have, maybe you want to limit what kind of actions they can do. Maybe you uh, don't want to keep a re recent history or you, you don't want to derive colors off the cu current palette. So you'll see uh, now you only have a limited list. So there's a lot of flexibility in what you provide. You can override the various text elements, but it's the perfect control to be able to pick a color for a specific use in your application. Thanks for joining me today. Infragistics. On the web at infragistics.com.